Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I'm bringing you one of the another clinical scale and this time it's again a new scale. So today I will be covering uh, the NMC OSCE nutritional uh, assessment station for you for your NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for sending all the kind words and comments you've been sending and giving me a lot of encouragement to keep making some uh, videos for you to revise you and to prepare you for your NMC OSCE exam. Okay, so in today's video, so what I'm going to show you today is how to complete the station uh, as per the marking criteria set by uh, the uh, test centers and also give you my top tips at the end. Because it's a new station, there is obviously they haven't published a lot of paperwork around it, but hopefully I'm going to to show you what you should expect in your exam okay so let's look at what is this station so this station is obviously nutritional assessment which is based on malnutrition universal screening tool that's what we use the universal tool for um, uh, assessing for malnutrition is called must tool okay so your station is based on completion of must tool so if you look at the screen you got eight minutes to complete this station now some of the station is the documentation it means completing that uh, um, malnutrition risk assessment correctly and half of it and at the end is that you need to verbalize your actions once you have completed the score then you need to say how you will uh, manage now uh, this and how will you prevent malnutrition for your patient okay so because that is really important so it's half and half half is the written documentation and half is the verbalization okay so how do you so obviously you need to correctly calculate the score in step one two uh, and three of the malnutrition universal screening tool and in step four you total the whole score and then in step five you verbalize what is your total score and what is the risk category and after that of course you need to uh, uh, obviously uh, verbalize the care plan action points to prevent malnutrition okay so that's what it is so um, so you will be given a scenario um, with a patient name uh, uh, date of birth MRN number date and time of assessment so that's on your next screen now so you will be given a scenario to work out uh, your numbers from there and then calculate the score so if we just look at this scenario so we got a here I'm just made up this scenario so it doesn't belong to a real patient just just for the teaching purpose so you got a, a, a lady coming in who is a 70 year old lady admitted to the hospital for assessment of her respiratory problems her current weight is 47 kilo and she is 5 feet two inches tall um, when she attended a GP practice about three months ago she, her weight was about 50 kilo okay um, and her appetite is reduced and recently she's only able to eat small amounts of food uh, because of her breathing difficulties uh, she still lives at uh, her own home um, and uh, with the help of and support of her son who visits uh, regularly okay so that's just a scenario to just get you started to start thinking about your malnutrition risk assessment and now what you need to do is you need to work out obviously the step one will be to work out the BMI which is body mass index from given chart okay uh, so you will be given a body mass index chart hopefully I am hoping so uh, that that you will be given a uh, BMI chart because that's what we will do in clinical practice so we will work out patient BMI looking at the BMI chart but for that we need to find out from the scenario what is our height and um, and patient current weight okay so we know the current weight is 47 kilo and the height is 5 uh, feet 2 inches so we can work out the BMI and then we will go ahead and then uh, according to what the BMI is there will be a score for that and and in step two uh, so if we look at step two will be the working out the weight uh, weight loss okay so you, we know uh, that we've been given the original weight in the scenario and then we are given original weight was 50 and then now the weight is 47 so we can work out the difference so that will give you the kilogram weight loss but then we need to work out the 
percentage from a again from a chart okay so there is a chart to work out the percentage of weight loss so that's what we need to do in step two and that will give us a score as well and then in step three we need to read the scenario and work out if your patient scores anything for acute disease effect it means if your patient is acutely ill and there has been or is likely to be no nutritional intake for more than five days it means six days or more okay so there is no nutritional intake whether it's through the ng feed or whether it's orally so if you think your patient is that severely ill that they're not going to eat you have any nutrition for uh, six days or more then you will score that patient okay in step three and then you will work that out from the information given in the scenario uh, so let's let's see now you've been given a scenario to work out uh, your scoring uh, for this malnutrition universal screening tool so let's see how we can do that and put it into practice so we know so we're going to work out the BMI first okay so if you look at the screen how to work out BMI is um, you know we know from scenario that our current weight is 47 kilo and her uh, height is 5 inches uh, five feet two inches so if you look at the graph and read a so you look at the weight side of it and you can see i've highlighted 47 kilo on the screen and if you look at the height uh, uh, on the top which is i have added the arrow and i've highlighted the five feet two inches now if you go across the both parameters and then look at the bmi you can clearly see i've highlighted the bmi is 19 so that's how you will read it from your bmi chart so if the bmi is 19 we know we've been given uh, we know we've been given this paper as well in the exam from where we can work out if the bmi is uh, 19 then the score is 1 as you can see is highlighted on my screen so basically if, if somebody's bmi is more than 20 they score 0 uh, between 18 18.5 to 20 is 1 and then less than 18.5 it will be the score of 2 so this lady's bmi is 19 so we're going to score her 1 for the bmi so next one is next step 2 now how do we work out the percentage weight loss okay so let's look at the next one now so we know the current weight is 47 kilo we know the previous weight when she went to gp was 3 months ago was 50 kilo so the weight loss is 3 kilo so how do you work out the, the percentage weight loss and the score so if you look at the graph uh, look at the sorry the screen and the chart so you can see if you just go on to the current weight of 47 kilo and then go across and then look at the weight loss range so our weight loss is 3 kilo so we're not gonna go for the first column so we're gonna go for the second column because 3 kilo is in the middle of that second column and if you look at that and that will give you the percentage uh, percentage weight loss score if you look at the top i highlighted it is one because her percentage weight loss is uh, between that second column and the second column is always will be scoring one okay so if you look at the chart as well uh, on the other uh, uh, paperwork which they give you you can see clearly from the must tool table that uh, you know if her weight loss is, is between five to ten percent which it is uh, then she scores one if it's less than five percent is zero 5 to 10 percent is 1 and more than 10 percent will be a uh, score of 2 but of course she's between uh, 5 to 10 so her score is um, uh, 1 okay so now we're going to go ahead and work out the step 3 so step 3 is easy it's, it's just trying to look at your scenario and see if she fits into the category of acute disease effect so what it says is uh, if you look at the information she's o she's only able to eat small amount of food and drink uh, but she is eating isn't it so it's no uh, acute disease effect will be if your patient is not able to have any nutritional intake for six days or more okay uh, for uh, five days or above it means six days or more okay so more than five days it means six days and more so in this case she's having small amount okay she's having small amount and her uh, intake is reduced but she's still having nutritional intake so her score is zero so now we're gonna go ahead and plot those number into our chart and make sure um, 
so this document will be given to you so add the detail from the scenario which is your name date of birth mr and number height and weight of your patient if they have not already uh, completed it for you they may have already completed that uh, uh, bit for you but if they haven't then pick it up from scenario and add that then you're going to add the uh, score for the bmi which is one and then you circle a and then you're going to circle the score for your weight loss percentage in step two which is one again for this patient and she does not uh, score anything for acute disease effect so we're not going to circle anything so now you can see going down the column her total score is two which is high risk of developing malnutrition and then you're going to add your date time and signature so that's your documentation complete so what we need to do next now so we have worked out uh, her all her steps of the malnutrition universal screening tool and we have worked out the total score we have completed this document so i told you that's uh, now half of this station is verbalization so once you have completed the document as you can see on the screen so your five first five steps you have already done okay uh, and you have done it correctly now you just need to highlight the po uh, the points which i have highlighted in yellow color in your screen so uh, after completing the documentation so the yellow points in the screen are that the verbalize the score so you're going to verbalize the score to your examiner and just say my patient score a is obviously two that's high risk of developing malnutrition or whatever your score is one two whichever it is okay then you're going to go ahead and verbalize that that your patient does need a referral to the dietitian and then uh, next step will be the verbally proposing a plan so how are you going to improve the nutritional intake so you might offer small app but frequent meals throughout the uh, throughout the day because if your patient can't tolerate full meal then it's good idea to just give them small but frequent snacks throughout the day to just uh, increase that oral intake obviously and then it's fluid intake as well you know uh, that your patient is uh, having enough fluid so that is something you will discuss with your patient uh, so those are the things you can then uh, do to help improve the nutritional intake and the next thing will be that obviously you need to document uh, what your patient is eating and drinking so you will document that uh, in their notes uh, on a chart and then also that you will verbalize that you will repeat this assessment according to your local policy but in hospital patient we normally do every week okay? Okay. so it will be repeated weekly and then uh, again another thing you would verbalize that you will consider possible underlying causes so you will talk to you know you will uh, you will verbalize that you will talk to your patient so you not given a real patient but you're going to verbalize that you will talk to your patient and trying to find out uh, what are the causes of uh, uh, what are the underlying causes of reduced intake uh, obviously and then you will uh, offer your patient food choices and offer a assistant with feeding if required so these are all the verbalization points which you will verbalize to your examiner that that's what i will do with my patient okay so and then you just going to finish your station and that's the end of the station so uh, so now we finish the station so I think that's what you need to do in the whole station so that is should be completed in eight minutes now my five top tips uh, top tips are just uh, trying to look at your must tool and understand the must tool and how it works practice few numbers just change this scenario and put different numbers in it and just try to uh, practice reading your bmi from the given chart and then reading the weight loss percentage from the given chart so that's really important that you practice uh, with different numbers than what i given you just change the weight and height uh, so that's important that you can practice that uh, and then you know how to do an exam tip number two is uh, making sure that you actually don't think oh it's a like written half written half documentation i'll be fine but do practice with a timer okay so do write a scenario and practice with a timer that you can complete everything in eight minutes tip number three is obviously because it's documentation please document clearly and legibly because that is one of your points in the marking criteria if your examiner uh, can't read it then obviously if you haven't circled things correctly and haven't added the score correctly 
correctly and uh, uh, than that then if your handwriting is not clear then that would be a problem tip number four is don't forget to uh, put all the details on your must tool document with your patient details and also your name date and time of the assessment that's really really important that you add those details your date time and signature at the end so that's really important and tip number five is do not forget that a half the station is documentation but half the station is verbalizing those points i have already told you after documenting correctly that you need to verbalize certain points so don't forget to verbalize that okay uh, your action plan verbalize your action plan points uh, so that's my five top tips for this station i hope you like the video and uh, if you do please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel visit us on oskinastraining.com and we do provide comprehensive training and we also provide training just for the skills or for the api stations according to your needs so i will soon be back with another video for you and bye for now